Good morning, dear colleagues, dear Ruslan, nice to see you, dear Bernd, dear friends, dear chairs of the uh, politi of the committees of the European Parliament. It is my great pleasure to open this first uh, intercommittee meeting between the European Parliament and the Verhofna Rada. Thank you to all of you, chairs of the parliamentary committees uh, from both sides, for being here uh, today. This meeting is further proof of our very strong relations, of our joint and effective work in practice. It marks uh, the launch of an in-depth, uh, comprehensive and concrete sectorial cooperation between our two uh, institutions cooperation that is crucial in view of Ukraine's European path. This is something that uh, Speaker Stefanchuk and I have discussed and converged over on several occasions because there is no question that Ukraine's future is as a member of the European Union. Dear Ukrainian uh, colleagues, uh, let me say how impressed the European Parliament is with the ardent uh, progress uh, that your country is making in implementing the European Commission's seven recommendations for Ukraine's application for European Union membership. We recognize your commitment and that of President Zelensky and of the government of Ukraine in this respect, working tirelessly day and night in the most difficult conditions to bring Ukrainian laws in line with the European Aki, and I would like to thank you on behalf of the whole Parliament for that. My hope is that uh, accession and negotiations with Ukraine will be able to start uh, already this year. Rest assured that you will always find a friend and an ally in the European Parliament. Our institutions have already been working hand in hand, including at committee level, to help integrate Ukraine within the European Union. Today, we are yet again expressing our willingness to take our cooperation and coordination a step further. Since Ukraine became an EU candidate country, we have already underlined on multiple occasions the transformational effect of the accession process. Joining the European Union is not just about transposing legislation, it goes much deeper. And far beyond that, the European Parliament will continue to do its utmost to assist you in the process of Ukrainian integration into the European Union. With capacity building programmes focused on legal approximation and practical cooperation between our committees, with our members' expertise and knowledge, many of which were themselves involved in their own country's accession negotiations to the European Union. In a nutshell, all our institutions' resources will be available at your disposal. Now, of course, we know the process will not be easy. As representatives of the people, you have the role and responsibility to explain to Ukrainian citizens the need for reforms, often far-reaching and painful, even more in times of war. So by putting in place stronger links between our committees and by working together on the legislative content, this will help you get closer to the whole range of EU policies, to anticipate what kind of commitments and change it will require, and crucially to understand where the European Union is and where it is heading. Dear Chairs, throughout this meeting you will have an opportunity to virtually meet your counterparts and to exchange on the technical details of your respective sectors. As EU co-legislators, we are here for you to share our insight and understanding regarding EU legislation. We are ready and committed to walk with you along this path every step of the way. Slava Ukraini. And I would like to give the floor now to Ruslan.